Hi everyone, I'm Sarah and welcome to the Class Point channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit subscribe so that you can stay updated on all the different Class Point and EdTech tips and tricks that we have for you. So today's video is all about the slide drawing activity in Class Point. So we have five different ideas for you to use to implement this question type into your classroom. When your students are joining your class and you're using this question type, they can join, of course, on any browser with any device. So it definitely helps if it's a touchscreen device, but they can definitely be using a device and use a mouse to annotate on the slides. So let's go ahead and get started at looking at the different ideas for slide drawing in your classroom. One idea to use slide drawing in your classroom is to allow your students to annotate on top of graphs. So graphs can be used in a variety of different subjects, so there should be lots of opportunity for you to implement this idea into your lessons. So today's example is with a supply and demand graph here. So if we want to make this a slide drawing question, we can go up to the Inkno Class Point tab and click on slide drawing. So our button is on screen and you guys can choose to hide the participant names if you want your students to remain anonymous and change any of the play options. So once that's all set up, go into your presentation mode. I'm gonna be using reading view today so that we can see a student side and a teacher side at once. So when your classroom is up, your students can type in the class code and their name here and click join. So when they join, they'll be able to see your slide as well. And once your students are all joined, you can go ahead and click slide drawing. And students can go ahead and open the slide, choose a color and begin their drawing. When they're all done, they can go ahead and click submit and you will see their response appear on your side as well. So you can go ahead and open it up big so that you can see and you'll be able to scroll through if there are other students that have submitted as well. Once it's all complete, you can go ahead and close and save them for review. And then you can look at them whenever you need. Another way to use slide drawing in your classroom is for students to annotate on top of an image. So this can be used in a variety of different ways. So for today's example, we're going to be labeling an image by drawing lines to match the part to the name. So you can also use this in a variety of different ways for many different subjects. So here in the same way, when we click on our slide drawing example here, we can open it up on the student's side and we can draw right over top of this image, which works out really great. So we can go ahead and click submit. And again, you'll see it up here on the student side. If you don't want students to see this window, you can always one, minimize it or two, hide the responses here until all of the submissions are in and you can close. The third way to use slide drawing in your classroom is pretty unique. So it's not just annotating over an image or a graph. It's having students answer a question visually. So they have to draw their entire answer. So for today's example, we're going to be giving our students a blank slide and they have to listen to something that I say and draw their answer. So this is checking for oral comprehension. So the little snippet I have for them is the rocket has launched and has sped past the moon. On the way to Mars, the crew sees many stars and one asteroid. So when we open up this question, students can then begin to draw what they heard. So we're checking to make sure that they understood a whole bunch of different parts of the example. So once all the drawings are completed, you can go ahead and click submit and if you want to really see all of your students' responses big screen, you can go ahead and close the submission and this time insert all the results as a slide. So and then you can save them for review and you will see that the whole slide that the student has drawn appears as a new slide in your presentation. And then this way, if you need to, you can annotate over top of them as well and correct their mistakes. The fourth way that you can use slide drawing in your classroom is to allow students to annotate over some text. 
So similar to graphs and images, students are able to either add additional text or highlight or circle anything that they see on screen. So for today's example, we're checking their language comprehension and their grammar. So when they read through this question, they can highlight or circle or annotate any of the mistakes that they find in this paragraph. Lastly, we have a whiteboard example for you all. So this is a way for students to have a question and put in their response, drawing or writing their response right next to it and send it back to you to review both at the same time. So today's example is a math example. So we want students to solve this math equation. So instead of having students do this on paper and turn it into you, you can do this as an in-class example and get their responses right away to know if they're understanding your lesson. So when it's all opened up, students in the same way can just begin solving for the problem. When they're all submitted, it is really easy for you to run through and check all of your students' work. These five ideas are just the beginning of ways that you can use a slide drawing question in your classroom. There are so many different ways that you can use it for any subject. So if you have any ideas, let me know. I would love to hear them. I really enjoy this question type because it gets your student engaged in answering questions in a different way that they normally wouldn't. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you'll be updated right away when we release a new video to help you with your EdTech tools and ClassPoint in the classroom. Thanks again. I'll see you guys next time.